Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing really well. Sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I've actually had a, a sore throat. I've been battling a minor illness over the past few days, but I'm feeling better now. Thankfully, not COVID. Yay. I'm back with another This Week in Fragrance. Today we're gonna be going over some upcoming new releases. We've got a new Prada Luna Rosa fragrance. We've got a new Burberry, a new Ralph Lauren, and a couple other small things to talk about as well. So let's jump into it. And today's This Week in Fragrance is sponsored as usual by FragranceUSA.com. Link in the description to their website. Make sure to check them out if you want to pick up a niche fragrance or a designer fragrance at a great price. If you want an even better price, use code GENT15. Save yourself 15% off. Like I said, guys, link in the description. They've got fast shipping, everything there completely authentic, and you can get some awesome prices as well. So shout out to Fragrance USA. Thanks for sponsoring the video. Now let's talk about these upcoming releases. The first one I'm gonna go over is a new Karl Lagerfeld fragrance. Yeah, I know everybody out there, oh my God, a new Karl Lagerfeld, I can't believe it. Lagerfeld Bois d'Ambre. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because, believe it or not, this entire line is very solid. And from discounters, you can usually pick it up, at least in the US, for under 30 bucks each one of the scents. So if this one follows along with those fragrances, it'll be good and cheap. And those are two things that I can get behind. Good, cheap, I'm there. Bois d'Ambre, the latest fragrance from Karl Lagerfeld, is housed in a cylindrical flacon featuring a graded lacquer and black screen printing. So this fragrance is coming out in July, which means it should be out anytime now. Again, I would suggest to wait until it hits discounters because these fragrances get knocked off heavily in terms of the pricing. And we've got a whole three notes for the fragrance. Clary Sage, Bergamot, and Amber. That's it. And that's one of the things that you're gonna notice as we go through each one of these fragrances, three or four notes. That seems to be the go-to now. So it doesn't matter how much I've sat here and complained about it. It appears that each fragrance brand is just doing this now. Three notes, maybe four. The days of getting an actual breakdown where you might be able to look at it and, and figure out some semblance of how it's going to smell, those days are gone. Nowadays, it's just, hey, give them one note for the top, mid, and bottom, and if they ask for more, tell them to go F themselves. Thanks, I appreciate that. Cool. So there's your note breakdown, bergamot, clary sage, amber. Don't have a whole lot more to say about it other than apparently it's going to be an amber-based fragrance and hopefully it's gonna be good. Next up, let's talk about the new Ralph Lauren. This one is called Ralph's Club. And I'm gonna complain again for a second here. In my last This Week in Fragrance video, I talked about how I've done a video. I shot it a while ago, just haven't edited it, where I talk about fragrance houses that need new lines. Jean Paul Gaultier was one of those fragrance houses that I mentioned, now they're coming out with Scandal, so you know, throw that out of the video. And now Ralph Lauren, I said they needed a new line because everything's friggin' polo. And now they do me dirty and they come out with Ralph's Club before I release my video. Thanks Ralph Lauren, thanks for nothing. So I guess I'm gonna have to go and rework that video, but I got my wish, Ralph's Club, not polo. Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum is essential for evenings spent at new wave bars and restaurants. Masculine and sophisticated, expect warm, rich scents of cedarwood, vetiver, and sage. I love that so much. Evenings spent at new wave bars. Because I just think of like new wave music from the 80s as if Ralph Lauren went, you know what we need? A fragrance for new wave bars. So is this fragrance made for listeners of Duran Duran and Depeche Mode? Maybe uh, Talking Heads or something? Relax, don't do it when you want to spray on Ralph's Club. Come together at Ralph's Club where icons of style and culture meet. Elegant and irreverent, this Eau de Parfum is exclusively crafted from ingredients distilled to their highest quality. Fresh notes of lavender and clary sage are balanced by the warm richness of Virginian cedarwood and vetiver to achieve a long-lasting and sensual woodsy scent. 
Experience the power of Ralph's Club, the greatest night of your life captured in a fragrance. So this has four notes, lavender, clary, sage, cedar, vetiver, technically lavender, which is not the same as lavender, it's a hybrid, but whatever. Those are your four notes. Obviously, I'm gonna buy it. It would appear that it's going to be a woodsy scent, maybe with a little bit of a, a throwback style to it, but I can't really tell because there are four notes, but it is coming out, so be aware of it. Up next, let's talk about the new Burberry. This one is called Burberry Hero, and it would appear to me from the outside looking in that Burberry did not try with the presentation here. Check this out. Wow. Uh, not a not a lot going on there. Honestly, it, it almost looks fake. Like it's that poorly done. You can kind of draw comparisons to a number of different fragrances in terms of the color scheme and, and the, the bottle shape cap style, all of that. You know, it, it looks like you took maybe three or four different scents and kind of just pushed them all together into this bottle and then removed anything that might make it unique. But let's go ahead and, and talk about the fragrance here really quickly instead of the sick presentation, which is no doubt an 11 out of 10. Burberry Hero is the embodiment of modern masculinity. Vibrant and masculine, yet sensitive. The iconic and heroic fragrance of its name consists of bergamot, three different cedar trees, and the bold nuances of black pepper and juniper. So, yeah, it would appear to be another fresh, spicy, woodsy scent. How unique. Cedar, bergamot, black pepper, juniper. With this being Burberry, I don't imagine too many people are gonna get hyped up about it, especially when you look at the note breakdown where they're giving you basically nothing and look at the bottle where they're giving you basically nothing. But uh, it exists, so Burberry Hero coming to a store near you right before it gets discontinued and heads to a discounter near you for $25 US. Now I'm just playing Burberry. I'm sure you killed it and this will be an amazing hit. Great job, proud of you. Realistically though, I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, and I'll smell it and maybe it's gonna be good and then I'm gonna have to sit here and be like, you know what, presentation, pretty terrible, but the fragrance is awesome could happen. All right, next up, the new Prada, Luna Rosa Ocean. Yeah, ocean. You know how I talked about how I did that video before and I'm gonna have to switch it up? Yeah. I did another one, another video that's not out yet about uh, fragrance lines that need a new entry. Luna Rosa was one of them, so need to redo that. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean stands for the courage to break out and dare to do new things. The composition is masculine and extremely elegant, and it's predestined for the modern adventurer who knows how to conquer even the highest waves. Usually it'd be like the highest, the highest mountains, the highest peaks, the highest tops, no, the highest waves. How's that work? You know, like a tidal wave, that's really high, but you're not conquering that. You can try to surf it and it'll crush you, you'll be dead. Getting crushed by the wave after you try to ride it and then dying, that that's probably not what they meant by conquering. So it seems like you got conquered. I also do love how each of the last three fragrances and the write-ups from the company have reminded me that they're masculine. Just like, hey guys, just FYI, this fragrance that I made for men, just keep this between us. Pretty masculine. I mean, imagine the write-up from Prada. This composition is extremely feminine and not elegant whatsoever. Predestined for the modern loser who knows how to do nothing except for sit on his couch. Wow, well, I don't think I wanna buy that one. So, Luna Rosa Ocean. Fresh bergamot meets delicate iris and a touch of warm caramel, which gives the eau de toilette a sophisticated twist. Once again, we're getting hit with four whole notes. Bergamot, iris, caramel, vetiver, that's it. What can we say about Luna Rosa Ocean? Obviously nothing, because we don't have it yet. I think the bottle looks slick 
love the look of it, at least from the from the photos. I think it looks awesome. I don't know that the name really makes a whole lot of sense. Ocean, you're thinking fresh aquatic sea notes, you know, the usual type stuff, right? And Broxton in there, uh, some geranium maybe, uh, lavender, uh, sea notes, sea salt, driftwood, on and on and on. That's the, the stuff that kind of comes to mind when you hear ocean in a fragrance, maybe a tropical fruit or something. Instead here, they're like, uh, how about iris and caramel? Because nothing screams the ocean like caramel. Now, even though I'm kind of poking fun at it, this is the fragrance out of all the ones I'm talking about today that I'm the most amped for, because in general, the Luna Rosa line has been very good. So Luna Rosa Ocean, I'm there. I'm there, I'm with it. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna wear it, and I've got high hopes. I just feel like there are some notes missing here maybe, or the name is just not gonna make a lot of sense. Is it gonna be one of the most hyped releases of the year though? Absolutely possible. If this stuff comes out and it is, you know, amazing, it's gonna be worth the two year wait that we've had. From uh, Luna Russell Black, that was the last one. It's been a while. All right, last release for this video. Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Summer 2021. This could be the fragrance of the year. Now I'm just playing. It's, it's probably gonna suck. But you know why I wanted to feature this? They give you more than three or four notes. So Tommy Hilfiger, either you're way behind the times and you need to catch up, or you're just doing a solid solid. Either way, I love you. Tommy Summer 2021, presenting the limited edition Eau de Toilette encapsulating the bold, vibrant spirit of Miami. Jeremy Fragrance, get on it. You gotta get this. This one's got a top of orange cardamom and ginger amid a clary sage, violet leaf and pepper and a base of ebony wood patchouli and vetiver. Looks to be fresh, spicy, woody. Uh, it's probably not gonna be anything that really sets the world on fire, but I'm sure it's gonna be decent enough that if you pick it up at TJ Maxx or Ross's or Marshall's or off the internet at a discount or in the future for you know $25, it's probably gonna be a solid buy at that point. So there we go, guys, five new upcoming releases. Let me know in the comments which one you're most excited for. Like I said, for me, it's Luna Rosa Ocean by far. After that, probably Ralph's Club. Yeah, little new wave action. Gotta be lost in translation, but I'm sticking with that. It is a fragrance made for new wave clubs. It is the 80s brought back into the present time. Way to go, Ralph Lauren. I love it. Again, a shout out to Fragrance USA for sponsoring the video. Link in the description. Use the code GENT15. Save yourself 15% off. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.